Today, we're pretending to be sick in Roblox so we can skip school. We need to pretend to have a fever so we can convince our dad to let us skip. But he keeps checking our temperature. We need to make ourselves hotter and hotter to convince him that we have a fever. We need more heat. Oh, Sonny, I've got to pretend to be sick. I don't want to go to school today. Bro, I'm an expert at that. First, walk over to a light bulb and put your head on it. Uh, I don't think I can do that, Sonny. I think I first just got to try to fake to be sick. Uh, where is father? Oh, bro, this house looks hilarious. Look at that dog photo. Father. Oh, I feel so sick, father. <laughs> Perhaps it would be an erroneous decision to allow me to be a potential disease spreader at school. May I suggest staying at home instead? Hmm, let me see. Temperature check. 36.5 degrees Celsius. Son, you're burning. Oh, wait, no, you're okay, actually. Get ready for school. I'll be here if you need me. Dang it. I need to find a way to convince him. I no, if I turn all the lights on in my bedroom, my body temperature will go up and father will allow me to stay. Yes. See, that's what I told you. Literally put your face on a light bulb. You're right. Check this out. I'm up 0.1 degrees Celsius. Yo, stick your face in the computer. Uh, in the computer, bro? Hey, yeah. Uh, wait, you're right. I can actually do something. Wait, what the heck? Uh, how do I get more heat? Melon, I think I know the answer. It says turn on every light in your room two out of three. There's a third one somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it was the ceiling light. And now it's time to try again, Sonny. I've got more heat. Father, I reckon the thermometer displayed the wrong temperature earlier. Could I perhaps suggest trying one more time? Okay, child. Temperature check. 37 degrees Celsius. It's a bit more than before, but nothing to worry about. Get going to school, you, you insolent child. I need more heat. Let's turn on every light inside the house. Bro, this is not the greatest strategy. Why don't, why don't you just pretend you threw up or something? No, I need more heat, Sonny. More heat. You've got to cook. Wait, go to the kitchen, bro, and turn on the oven and just like sit in it for a little bit. I don't think I can do that yet, Sonny. I've got to slowly work my way up by turning on every single light. Wait, even in his room? Even in his room, bro. Especially in his room, it turns out. Um, is there something I'm missing? Oh, there was something on the table. Oh, that's a book. A cool fan art made by players. I need more heat. This is so awesome. Anyways, I can't be distracted. I need more heat, Sonny. Wait, maybe the fireplace. You think so? No, never mind. Sorry. Did you get a light in the garage area? I don't think so, but I didn't see one. Maybe behind the door there's a switch? Nope, never mind. Oh, on the roof. Yeah, it's down below. Look at the switch on the wall. Hey, you're right, Sonny. You're right. I know I'm right. I'm the goat. Now I must remind father that I am sick. Father, I truly am convinced that I am indisposed today. Gee willikers. Temperature check. 37.7 degrees. You're fine. Go have some breakfast and take a bath. Oh, that's a wonderful idea, Father. Wonderful indeed. <laughs> Have breakfast and take a bath. First, let's start with breakfast, Sonny. It's on the table, you buffoon. Oh, grab empty mug, put chocolate pot, microwave to heat up that. Is my breakfast just chocolate milk? Yeah, but it's warmed up. And drink. Sonny, I'm pretty sure I'm getting to the point where, like, you'd genuinely be dying. You're getting so hot. <laughs> You're 37 and a half degrees, or are you now 38 degrees? Whoa, plus two! You're cooking now! Really? What is a lethal body temperature at Celsius? Uh, if you get to 43 degrees, that is normally death or serious brain damage. Okay, so if we get to 43 degrees, we surely should be able to skip school. Yeah, you'll be dead. You'll be in the hospital. Father, I must request of you kindly take my temperature again. Ah, <sighs> okay, child. Temperature check. 40.2 degrees. Something's not right here. Dude, that's pretty close to the lethal limit. No problem here. You must go to school. Go change your clothes. I'm pretty sure it's a problem. All right, father, I will. I'm close to dying, and he still he still freaking wants me to go to school. What if he just doesn't like children and wants you to spread this? And I would now remind my father once again that I'm ill. Father, I see Sincerely believe- Yes, I know your temperature. Okay, kid. I get it. You're, you want me to check? <sighs>
Let's see here. 40.7. I don't care. Go to school. Oh, dear. This is going to be harder than I thought. Maybe I need to keep the heat inside the house. Close those windows. Hello, father. Let me just close this window. Oh, yep. Nothing suspicious here. I love how the entire game is just getting your body temperature hot so that you literally cook your brain. Yeah, bro. We're trying to skip school. That's the whole point. I think I've got to close this garage. Wait. Use the gasoline and burn the house. Oh, that would be smart, but I think that's a later on strategy and turn the heating on. Oh, here we go. Is there another heater somewhere? Yeah. Two, and then one in dad's room, I bet. Mmm, father, I request another measurement of my temperature. Oh, come on. Here we go. Temperature check. And it says 46.7 degrees. This is not good. You're gonna die. Sonny, that is three degrees higher than something that is normally causing death. At 43 degrees, it says normally death or there may be serious brain damage, continuous convulsions, and shock. So I should be dead right now. Yeah. Yeah, but let's see what dad has to say. You are fine, Melon. You're chilling, bro. You are a fruit. You sit in the sun all day. Dude, I'm not fine. I'm really not fine. And it looks like you're finally ready to go to school. So get out now or you'll miss the bus. Urgh, I will skip school one way or another. Bruh, you're gonna flood the house. The house is already disgusting. You see how everything's red, bro? I think that's my brain getting damaged for how hot I am right now. Yeah, but I also just realized something. You're heating up the entire house. So dad... Dad's brain is also frying, which means he doesn't realize this is a problem. Dude, that's probably what's happening. You're right, Sonny. Melon, the kitchen faucet. Dude, your brain is smooth. I did the kitchen faucet. Okay, I'm just blind. Sorry, my brain is smooth. Where else would there be a sink? I don't understand. Is there, like, another stove I missed? Fireplace this time, maybe? No. I feel like that would be the only place where there's faucets. Oh, next to you, bro, there is another sink. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> a bidet? Why do they have a bidet? And why would the water be squirting? Scorching hot on your butt, bro. That's not how a bidet works. It doesn't just come out from a normal faucet. It shoots up into your butt. Father. Huh? Still here? I thought you left already, kiddo. <laughs> Is everything all right, father? You appear distraught. Yes, yes, I'm fine. Anyways, it's just a little bit toasty in here. Temperature checking. Let's see here. My idiot kid is 52.7 degrees Celsius. Bro, you shouldn't even be alive. You're fine. Yeah, no, 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 you're fine. Just go. You're fine. What the heck? What else can I do? I know. The fireplace. Guys, my father really wants me to go to school. I'm gonna die at this rate. You gotta go grab your homework and burn it in there. Oh, I need to burn my homework in the fireplace. <laughs> Today's homework. <laughs> Bro, it's extremely heavy too. I can barely walk with it. If I had that much homework every day, I would not want to go to school either. And now I have burned it. Five degrees. Yo, did you see my face? Yeah, you're cooking. I love how we aren't even talking anymore. Yeah, he's just fed up. 57.7 degrees. There's nothing wrong with you. That's it. It's getting serious now. Put a fork in the microwave. It's time, Sonny. We're going crazy. Grab this fork and place it in the microwave. Let it cook. Electric fire. Let's go. Plus 10 degrees, Sonny. We're getting serious. Bro, you should be not just dead. You should be like incinerated. 67. 7.7 degrees. You are not sick. Well, he's right. You're not. I need more heat. You're right. I'm not sick. I should be dying. Burn the car down. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'll skip school no matter what. I feel like your dad would have responded better if you just puked. Yo! No way. I guess when you're that hot, you could just fart flames. Yo! That is crazy, bro. 30 degrees! Okay, you've got to be done now. Surely. Surely he won't care now. Temperature check. 97.7 degrees. You have to go to school. What are you talking about? Uh, I'll burn all the trees down. I'll burn this city down if I need to. Burn the trees in my surrounding area. It's time, Sonny. We're starting a forest fire! What the heck? Your touch is so hot. You just caused the entire forest to go on fire. Surely, surely that's enough. Nah, bro. I'm pretty sure dad doesn't care. 197. Bro! What the heck? I should be melting. Go to school. You must. He's not wrong, bro. School is a much safer environment. Goodness gracious. We're gonna fill the pool with lava now, Sonny. Oh my goodness, dude. Yo, where are you even getting this? Are you going into the Minecraft shafts and finding some lava to pour down? Like, what is this? Not for long, empty pool. Pray. I'm going to pray for lava. What? Mighty Ignatius, master of flames, I beseech thee, hear my prayer. What is happening, Sonny? Sup? 
O oh, noble Igniatus, I implore thee to grace my humble pool with the heat of 1,000 suns. What? Please fill my pool with lava. Ah, uh, okay, I got you, bro. Okay, bye. What? Why'd he die? Yo, chill! Oh, plus 825 degrees Celsius, Sonny. Surely I should skip school now. I'm pretty sure you'd be incinerated and there'd be nothing left. Hello, father. You are over 1,000 degrees Celsius. Dude, you're getting close to the surface of the sun. My goodness! That's a lot of fever. Is that so, father? Wait, no, I misread that. You're actually fine. Go to school. Uh, I don't even know what to say. I'm so bamboozled, I can't think of anything to increase my temperature. Maybe there's something on TV that can help me. All right, it's time to turn the remote control on. Need less heat? Fantastic. No, I don't need less heat. I need more heat. Nice to see you. Order some ice now. Is your house on fire? Did you miss your school bus? It's not too late. Get a bus ride by- No, I don't care. I don't want to go to school. Oh, this is perfect, Sonny. Do you want to convince your father that you have a fever and must stay at home, but you've run out of ideas to increase the temperature of your house? That's exactly the situation I'm in. Well, then call us to hire a dragon and burn down your home. 321-456. Here we go. Here we go. Yo, what? This dragon is reading books at a daycare? What is happening? He's getting a call from his main job of caretaking to his side hustle of burning down houses. Let's go. Okay, my children, Mr. Dragon has got important work to do. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what his voice sounds like. When the work is done, we will finish reading the book. Now ride. Wait, he's bringing the kids to cook your house? Uh, I think he'll just be right back. Oh, wait, no, he is. The babies are on there. No way. What is going on? We're getting real hot, Sonny. Real Heat. Yes, the work is finished. The house is crumbling. And now I can go back to daycare and continue reading this book. Plus 2,000 degrees Celsius. Surely now. Surely now. Bro, 3,022 degrees Celsius. That's almost the temperature of the surface of the sun. No freaking way. And he's still saying that's nothing to worry about. I think something's wrong with him. I did not want to do this. But you leave me no choice, father. Pull the sun closer with a rope. Okay. Okay, yeah, we're bringing the surface of the sun down here. Makes sense. Nothing else was hot enough. How does one just pull the sun closer? You're gonna find out, Melon. This is your task. This is your challenge. This is destiny. Coolest people in the world. Uh, maybe there's a rope here somewhere. Uh, do you see any rope somewhere? Nah, I didn't notice ropes earlier. I think the rope's just outside chilling. It's outside or maybe in the garage, but it's gotta be out here somewhere. Ropey dope. Is there any rope? Hello? Oh, Sonny, we are idiots, bro. It's right here. Well, there's technically no rope, so we're not that dumb. But we didn't realize there was a pop-up there. Anyway, Sonny, it's time to pull you closer to the earth. Grab me. Let's wrangle that sun. So it's come to this. Yeah. You forced me to do this, father. I'm not going to school. Pulling the sun closer. I. Uh, huh. Melon, that's a really dangerous idea. <laughs> Won't. <sighs> Go to! Melon, don't do this! Don't do this! Sk- Ah, sk- Sk- School! Bro, you melted the entire planet so you could avoid going to school. Also, what do you think that rope was made of? Mmm... Probably just like leather. Father, what is my temperature? No way. No way, bro. 8,500 degrees. That is hotter than the surface of the sun. Oh, dear son, you were right all along. You have a mild fever. I guess you could stay home today. All right, father. Yes. Yes. That's the good ending. What the heck is wrong with this game? But that was hilarious. Oh, question mark. Well, at least you did not go to school. <laughs> That's funny, dude. That is such a weird ending. This game was was awesome, but not as awesome as pressing that subscribe button. Do it now.